All right, guys. We have got this uh, real brown made by folk art. Hobby Lobby. Made by folk art. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint his eyebrows and his beard. And the back of his head with the real brown. So let's move him over here. I think you guys can see. Yep. Right. Now what we'll do is we will go ahead and paint him the hair real brown. And then we'll come back with granite gray and dry brush the gray over the brown. And what that will do will give us that uh, salt and pepper look, I think they call it. What do I got on my thumb? Brown paint. Okay. It'll give them that salt and pepper look. And it'll also give them a layer, another layer, to his uh, look. Because some of the black is uh, from the burning, it's still on there. Now I did thin this paint down a little bit uh, to let our wood burning shine through. Right. We'll just make sure we get a nice even coat. We might have to change uh, brushes here to get into some of the tight spots. I don't know yet. And you don't have to be perfect with this. You know, because you're going to be putting another layer or two of different colors over it. The dark brown is uh, like our base color, I guess. That will be the one that dictates what all the other colors are going to look like. I do like trying to push it down into the beard just for the fact is when we come back over it with the dry brush we're only going to be hitting the tops of the hairs hopefully uh, so we're going to be going this way not this way if we go this way we'll be pushing it down into the beard and uh, I'm thinking I don't want that I think I want it to uh, just brush the top of the beard hairs with the gray. So that it uh it just gives it a little accent. So it's not all one color. And it'll make the hairs the all them beard hairs stand out a little bit. Try getting up underneath this chin there. Like that. And back here behind his ear. Around his ear there. A little bit. Like that. Then we can let that dry. And then come back with our granite gray. And we'll just uh, dry brush it. Now you notice on the back I didn't give them a lot of hair texturing. Uh, basically just what the diamond left behind. Uh, 
is what the texture of his hair is going to be. Which I like, you know, I, I like the contrast. The, uh, the big thick hairs uh, against the very fine hair across the back. And if I don't like it, I can, can always go back and carve hairs into the back of his head. But I'm, I think I'm, I'm liking it like that. I like the contrast in uh, textures between the beard and the, ha and the hair on the head. Just got to make sure we get up underneath there. Behind the ear. Make sure we get behind this ear. There we go. And we'll rinse that brush out. Once the brush is rinsed out, we're just going to go back over it. Pull some of that paint off to let the uh, wood show through a little bit. I like that. Okay. So now all we got to do is just let them uh, sit here and dry, I guess. Maybe go over these uh, patches with the red one more time. That dark blue or purple or whatever color it is, is really sucking the paint in. It's uh, hard to cover. But this red usually dries a little darker than you want it to anyway. Right, I think that'll do her. Now we just gotta let them dry and put the pupils in his eyeballs. When they dry, don't rush that step, guys. You try putting them pupils in there with that uh, ivory paint being wet, and you'll end up with runny eyeballs. Runny balls, runny balls. Oh, we got the brown right here. Let's go ahead and do his uh, eyebrows. Since we're right here in the neighborhood. Take that there. Yeah, these guys, they really start coming to life when you do the finish on them. So for the most part, he's done. We'll uh, let him dry, and then we'll put his uh, we'll put the pupils in his eyeballs. We'll go dry brush him with the uh, granite gray. Clamp them up here, let them dry. That's the longest. That's the hardest thing about painting, guys. Is you're constantly in a state of flux between painting and drying, and drying and painting. I do have a heat gun that I use every now and then, but uh, on some of these acrylic paints, it makes it bubble, like the metallics. Never use a heat gun on the metallic paints. Otherwise, it, it ripples up like uh, you're burning rubber, burning plastic or something there. It gets all ripply. Okay, so I guess I could have put a little more brown on that sideburn on the other side of his head there. 
looking. See, as you get done, you're looking, and you're like, ah, oh, could use a little more right there. So we're going to put a little more to separate the space from his ear and his little cheekies. So I said, after you think you're done, go back over it and see if you're done. <laughs> right? I think I'm done. And then you go back over and you're like, doggone it, I just put my paint away and I missed that spot. It's like we missed his lower lip too. Yep. So we might as well take a little dab of paint. Oh, that's, that is some wet paint. Okay, so we'll just take a little dab of paint here. It will paint that bottom lip in. There we go. Get that bottom lip painted in. I'm going to take them off camera here for a second because I got to turn them upside down. And I can't touch them because of all the wet paint. All right. I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. I don't got no light. And then you look at him, you're like, oh, I got some of the flesh color on his mustache. And now you gotta go back with the brown. Touch that up. All right. Did that. That's done. All right. Uh, maybe I should put another coat of the flesh since I got all this flesh paint laying here on my palette. Maybe we should just go ahead and take the flesh and... Go back around. See a little tiny spot right there I miss. Go back around with that flesh colored paint. You just go over them again. It's not going to hurt. Because we're going to come back. Uh, I may Mod Podge them first. After I Mod Podge them, come back with the watered down black and we'll do that black wash on his face and what that's going to do for us is it should make all of the little lines that are carved in his face stand out better like we got a little hat green on his ear so we'll go back and get that flesh color go back over his ear yep okay looks good looks good looks good I'm actually impressed with the way this little bugger turned out because I'll tell you, I had my doubts when I first started carving them. I really did. Alright. So, I like it. The wood burning uh, with the thinned spray paint, or the uh, airbrush paint, all the burn lines showed right through. So it looks like stitches and uh, looks like a lot of uh, antiquing went on. I think that'll work. Other than maybe taking some black and putting that down here around his feet for the soles of his feet. I think uh, all we got to do is drop in his irises. Which are probably going to be, uh, I don't know. What color eye should we give them? With that eye that small, we could just use a little black black paint and pop them in and be done with it. I think that's the way it's going to roll, guys. We're just going to give them some black pupils and call it good. It looks like that uh, paint has dried. The paint 
for his eyes has dried. So let's pop them out of here like that. And take the end of this paintbrush. I don't think I'm getting enough paint. The end of the paintbrush and we'll use it to, I don't know, that this might be too big. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's way too big. We need a smaller end of a paintbrush. Let's see, do we have a smaller ended paintbrush? I used to have one that I cut down just for doing eyeballs. Oh, I don't see it. Let's see. We have a we have a uh, barbecue barbecue skewer one of the bamboo skewers go ahead and take our pocket knife and whittle that thing down to a point like so like that there and we'll just dip that in the paint and then we'll check our dot size okay that that's about right so I gotta be looking at them head on when all right so let me repaint the eye back white again and we'll start all over all right all right so that's the end of the paint video got well now we're gonna black wash his face I'll be right back all right guys I'm gonna do that uh, dry brushing thing so we got a paper towel here got our paintbrush gonna load that brush up then dab it off and then nice and light we're just gonna go through and give them some highlights of gray over his beard and then we'll just uh, do a little back and forth on the eyebrows push some of that gray onto the eyebrows Pull it down the back of his hair here. You will dry brush there. See, so it don't take much paint to uh, get that look in there. Get up underneath that beard. We might even have to go back and dry brush a little uh, brown. 
over our gray. Looks about right. I think he's looking good. So I guess what we're going to do now is just let this guy sit overnight. Give him some time for this paint to totally dry uh, before we do the black wash. I think. I think that's the way to go. Alright. So. We can say good night. Good night, Mr. Gnome, and we will see you all later for the uh, black wash. All right, guys, so this is what he turned out looking like. Sorry, but we lost some footage somehow. Me and my camera aren't talking. We do, Willis. Uh, so that's what he come out looking like. He's all finished. We did the uh, brown. Uh, we used the brown. Uh, it was uh, burnt umber brown, and we watered it way down. And then we went in and we put it on his eyes. You know, all of his little bags, his ears. And if you look back in the video, you can see how much more pink his face was. And we did the beard. So basically we antiqued the whole thing. With the uh, burnt umber. And it was severely watered down. It almost looked like tea. The color of uh, brewed tea. And then I went back and I retouched up the whites of the eyes. With the ivory. Alright, so share, subscribe, like, uh, all that good stuff you guys do. Leave me a comment. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Paint something awesome. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Alright? Alright. Bye.